The iPhone 14 is here and it is garbage. Garbage, I say. There are so many phones that are better than this one and they've so much been out better. for a fortnight. Let's see the first one. The Nokia <laughs> 808 Pure View. At one point, I just want to be like, Nokia, are you okay? Is everything okay at home? Because it felt like they were overcompensating for a lot with these uh, big camera balls. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Nokia were ahead of their time. While the iPhone was giving us, what, 8 megapixels? 12 megapixels? <laughs> ah, this is a phone for ah. ants? <laughs> is that what? Is that how ants measure in meg megapixels yeah. of size? How big is a big ant? How many megapixels is a big ant? 30. 30? 30! So this is well, a then big a 41 ant. megapixel camera would make for a giant ant. For context, this phone came out in 2012. It had the highest megapixels. Me That's a megapixel. <laughs> Seven years of the highest megapixel count that we had ever seen. The Escobar <laughs> Fold 2. Pablo Escobar had a brother, Roberto de Jesus. He decided, I'm going to start making solid bricks of gold into telephones. Except that solid brick of gold was actually just a slightly worse D-brand sticker. The idea here was that... Uh, Pablo Escobar's brother sold a scam. I mean, a legitimate $400 phone and that uh, you would send your money, I believe, wire transfer only. Wire transfer, so like slightly more secure oh, crypto, than just- crypto. You could also send yeah. uh, crypto. It was slightly more secure than literally just giving a bike messenger a bag of money and telling him to go across the border. And it had a nifty wallpaper of a smiling Pablo Escobar. With his mug shot. Look, I feel like we're gonna get shot for this app. Like we're gonna get taken out back and Escobar'd. The LG G5. Matt, I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. You need you to be honest with me. Yeah. You need you to look me square in the eyes. Have you ever used an LG phone? I'm just realizing you have blue eyes. <laughs> what, what was the question? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was lost in those baby blues. This was at a time in 2016 where removable batteries on phones were generally going away. You know, things like water resistance and whatnot was becoming a little bit more prevalent. Glass yes. backs, all that kind of stuff. But LG, being the rebels that they are, uh, were, rest in peace, they wanted to do something different. So they basically made the bottom of the phone detachable. So you could load up a battery. You also could get different friends, which would give you things like the DAC module, camera grip, that kind of stuff. When I bought mine, it yeah. came with two additional batteries. I was out here just... Uh, uh, what is this one? Uh, I'm Matt, I'll let you take this one. Um, it's fine. The, Honestly, virt the Virtue Constellation. Constellation. Ulm. In order to buy the Virtue Constellation, you have to buy a $5,100 NFT. Wait, wait, wait. No, hold on. Kenzie, please explain this a little more. Yeah, so by September 23rd, you have to decide if you want to, in fact, funge it and get a phone for it or keep oh. the NFT and be part of their exclusive stupid club. So it's one of the other. You're either funging or you're non-funging. Imagine though, Matt, people say, NFTs have no purpose. What if you could turn your NFTs into phones or computers or cars or something? That sounds pretty fungible to me. You wouldn't funge a car, would you? The Energizer Power Mac. Oh, Matt, Matt, Matt. I know this one. I know this one. I know this Please. one. The idea here is that this is a one 0.1 pound phone, 18 millimeters thick, and it had an 18,000, you wish, milliamp hour battery with weeks, weeks, weeks of standby time. Do you know how much they raised on Kickstarter? $15,000 out of the 1.2 they were looking for. <laughs> the Nokia 5800 Express Music. But this is a 2008 smartphone and it had one of the most incredible features that any phone has ever had. Something that modern smartphones pale in comparison to a resistive touchscreen. Yeah. You know the Nintendo DS? Imagine put that shit in your phone. It came with a stylus, uh, I'm sorry, Galaxy Note series. You got canceled for a reason because the Nokia 5800 <laughs> did it better and did it first. Do you think that the, like, the design engineers at Nokia Nokia were just like doing mounds of cocaine as they're designing their phones like just like uh, <laughs> what how can we make this weird wait Kenzie what's a plectrum do we need to censor it no, if no. we put it up here do we have to censor whatever no, no, this like, is okay so what a plectrum is is like what you use to like strum like stringed instruments these guys said you know what we love express music so much that we'll make one that works with your phone touchscreen like a guitar pick yeah look all i know is if you want to see matt furiously strum his plectrum make sure to subscribe to this and ringling the dingling button and otherwise you'll be forced to miss 
the plectruming that's happening behind me. What's the end gauge, Matt? What Tell if, me about the end gauge. The end gauge was what if uh -huh. the Game Boy Advance yep. had PlayStation, I don't even want to say one graphics, I would say PlayStation and a half graphics. <laughs> Fact. At a weird aspect ratio, and you could also get rejected from your crush on. All I know is this. The iPhone 14 has what? Three buttons? It has what? A high definition OLED 120 hertz display? <laughs> Hilarious. Imagine needing that when in fact you could have the taco time of your dreams. The HTC Sensation. Sensation. You know that this had HD video? And it came with an eight gigabyte micro SD card, which was at the time oh. worth about $12,000. This was a steal. And also it had touch sense, which was just still the best looking. The flip clock? The flip clock, the rounded like, kind of like home launcher bar. I would trade you and Kinsey okay. both in, yep. hands down, yep. for a modern version of an HTC with HTC Sense. Oh. The next bit, Robin. Listen, baby birds, we know what you're <laughs> looking for. I love this phone, I loved it. However, thanks to our good bald friend, Jerry Rig Everything. He exposed the absolute scam of the next bit, Robin, with the most controversial video on the internet of 2016. The idea here was that it was a cloud-powered smartphone. No, not for cloud gaming. <laughs> Lame. This was all about being able to offload your very, very heavy data files. Instead, you could upload it to the cloud and then you could just immediately get the performance of your fresh and clean phone back. Also, how about we make a phone out of plastic? That's a great idea. I don't see and how not this could just plastic. Go wrong. You know how plastic's made out of dinosaurs? This plastic wasn't made out of a T Rex or a Stegosaurus. This was made out of those little running guys. That are raptors? No, the little ones. Little raptors? Little dinosaurs are raptors. No, medium-sized uh, dinosaurs are raptors. Yeah, there's also little ones too. But I'm talking about the little ones. Okay, whatever. Anyway, what was most exciting about this was that while it raised $1.3 million on Kickstarter, Zach snapped it in half and then almost immediately Razer purchased it about a year later. And they made it significantly better. Yes, this Razer made a a damn fine phone out of yeah, this. It was uh, the basis of the first Razer phone. Yeah. Unfortunately, that very important cloud storage that Nextbit put together, less than two years after this went on sale, was completely discontinued. If only you had an iPhone 14, you wouldn't. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, a better phone than the iPhone 14 wouldn't be a problem now, would it? The Casio. Oh, good lord. Gazone Commander 4G. The Calzone. What was this? <laughs> what is this thing? This came out in 2013 for $100 on contract, thanks to our friends over at Verizon. This was a military 810G certified device. You could use it as a tactical weapon. Good day, good day, my lady. Would you like to accompany me to Gazone? <laughs> Can I ask you? <laughs> Please do. Is the skin tire treads, or is there like yes. is there rubber on the case? If I'm gripping this phone, am I gripping a Goodyear? Can you take your iPhone 14 and throw it in water and tactically knock someone out? I don't think so. The Nokia N8. Matt, this was actually a really good phone. I can, with a completely straight face, example, can tell you that this is way better than the iPhone 14. HDMI output, USB on the go, FM transmitter, and a 3.5G radio. Better than 5G, because it's 3.5G. That's three whole better than the 5G. What? Even more importantly, this actually was used to shoot a feature film. Matt, something you know about because you've watched a film before, haven't you? I have. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not all, doing this one. We're not doing this one. First I refuse. of all, this looks like we're <laughs> about to summon Dumamu. <laughs> Dragon is made out of 18 karat gold and a fragment of a meteorite. A fragment of a meteorite that fell from Mars. How can you tell a meteorite fell from Mars? Meteorites don't come from planets. They Do land you? on planets. No, they originate from planets or from, I guess, celestial bodies. If uh -huh. Because like, you know, so did it have a like piece Pluto. It costs a whopping $26,640. For the first time, we can actually make this joke. That literally costs more than a 2000 19 Ford Focus. This is clearly more expensive than an iPhone. Yeah. And does it have a piece of Mars in it? Not so. Yeah. I'm not uh, interested. When's the last time your phone had Mars in it? The Motorola flip out. This is actually a neat phone. Can I tell you a little story? Yeah. Early in my YouTube career, mm -hmm. I've been making videos for a year or two. Yeah. Um, and what I realized was I could just 
lie and get views. Are you admitting that you invented clickbait? I did. Basically, when a phone would get announced, I would just take a bunch of screenshots of the phone and then just talk about it. And that was it. I was like, oh, hey, there's this new co phone called the Motorola Flip Out. It looks really neat. Check it out. And no one else was making videos at the time because YouTube was a barren wasteland in 2010. So uh, I just got lots of views. And I remember I did a video on the Flip Out and I seem to recall it did very well. It was a phone that was great for reading three lines of an email or two texts on your screen. Other than that, it was completely filled. Uh, a MySpace email. status was perfect in this. The oh, Palm phone. phone! The Palm Phone! Aww. Oh, it was so cute. I love the Palm Phone. Yep. Do you know who the only person on the entire face of the planet I will listen to for phone advice is? Palm? Nope. Who? Why don't you take a guess? Marquez. Nope. No? No, I don't think Marquez. Nope, absolutely not. Does Linus use phones? Nope, he does not. I didn't think so. Um, Steph Curry. The answer is Steph Curry. Steph Curry is the only person on the face of the planet who I will listen to for phone. You said Yeah, I was, I was misdirecting you. Steph Curry personally endorsed the Palm Phone as his favorite device of all time. The idea with the Palm Phone is that this was a secondary device. You were really kind of meant to use this alongside a regular smartphone because while it was a full Android device, it had a 3.3 inch screen and it was incredibly small. The battery life was very bad. The processor sucks. Do you think Steph Curry has time to be on his phone? He's got to play basketball. Do you have to go play basketball? I thought so. You need the Palm Phone, otherwise if, you're gonna be on your in, iPhone if, 14 being like, -de 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 -de. If I'm his tweeting. endorsement of this thing wasn't just the Palm Phone, it's a swoosh. How much does the Palm Phone cost if I order one right now on the spot? $350. Today? You think so? Yeah, because they're a collector's item. They have appreciated in value. All right, I'm gonna do buy it now. I get a, if you, I get a if, Palm Phone if here you, If you in buy two this for me right now, I will daily this for a month. Buy it now. No, why ordered. did you actually I just get bought this? It. I just bought it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, ringling that dingling bell, because otherwise, this is where I'm on money because I keep buying stupid things for videos and we're gonna um, get in trouble. I bought this one. I did actually just buy it. Couldn't regret this.